Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. And today I will uh, present about the uh, profiling return to work RTW recipient in Malaysia. Let's start with the introductions. What is it? Uh, definitions of the return to work. So, return to work program was introduced in 2007 by Soxo. SN enhancements on physical and vocational rehabilitation facilities. This program gives an opportunity to injured employee who call injured under the invalidity schemes and employment injury scheme to get back to work after their recovery. Return to work program also focusing on the employee under the age of 60 to ensure that they are productive enough before the retirement age. Once the participants have agreed to join this program, they must return to employment when they reach certain criteria which indicate the, that they are able to work again. Soxo stated that the benefits of RTW program to employer are that the productivity of the employee can be increased and also the cost of hiring new employee can be reduced. On the other hand, the official website or SOXO also stated that RTW program boosts the level of confidence of the employee to continue to work after rehabilitation process. The life of the injured employee can also be fully recovered as the medical costs are provided until rehabilitation process completed. Based on uh, SOXO's annual report, all three benefits shows an increasing number of benefit recipients. It includes invalidity pensions grant, temporary disablement benefit, permanent disablement benefits. This will consequently result in determination skill due to the work absence. Increasing in number of benefit recipients means that the amount benefit payment will also increase. Thus, SOXO needs to allocate a larger amount of expenditure on benefit payments. So, this has somehow give burden to the SOXO in providing the benefit payments as there are more and more number of recipients. There is a steadily steady increase in the benefit payment for all three types of benefits. This indicates that SOXO expenditure on benefit payments has never decreased for last five years in a row and this problem might worse in the future if no action taken. Based on that issue, we proceed with the main objective of this study is to identify the attributes in return to work program. Now, in order to achieve the objective, we need to have a look on the research methodology used in this study. So this study and research is conducted by using the data obtained from SOXO Malaysia on return to work program. There are 1,552 data on participants in RTW with six variables which are age, gender, race, salary, level of education and sector. The data obtained from the year of 2015 there are some limitations regarding the data, for example, the data obtained is not big enough and some of the recent data is incomplete. So the only involved 1552 participants of return to work program, the rest is ongoing process. So the small number of data might not be able to produce result as accurate if the big data is used.
The method used in this study is descriptive, descriptive statistics. So this is the importance of the independence variable to the data. So it shows the overall view of the data and the characteristics of each variables. Independent variable in this data are participant characteristics in RTW which are age, gender, race, salary, educations and industry. The dependence variable for this data is the status of the participant either they are still in rehab process or have returned to work. So this is uh, the uh, variable involved and we have uh, decode uh, all the data uh, that we have got and this is uh, the descriptions of the data uh, type of variables and the each of the variables so for instance we always, we can see over here the each uh, type of data is nominal gender binary and the status the target also binary so the model diagram shows in the figure flow of the nodes for the descriptive analysis so these are the process that involve in order to uh, get the to identify the characteristic of the rtw after the data has been imported in sas e minor any missing value and outlier can be identified so replacement nodes and input node are used to deal with the any missing value in the data however the data this study do not have any missing value and outliers thus replacement nodes and input are unused for this data multiplot nodes used to show the result in the form of histogram on what happened to the variables so these are the results of the uh, RTW program SOXO with the data of 1552 as a conclusion by using SAS E minor the data is analyzed and the result shows relationship among independence variable and dependence variables the data have been used in this research only in both 155 to participants RTW. With that, thank you.